see when he taking swings. Amazing. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, one sec. Let me pull up your stream then, and I'll uh, <laughs> capture that, and then we can have the real picture-in-picture -picture experience, the good stuff. Yeah. All right, let me uh, pop out player here. Wait, is there not a pop out player anymore? What the fuck? Um, oh, there it is. They hit, they hit it in another option. Wow. You can do a uh, browser source with slash embed on the end of the Twitch to just get the channel. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, that's my uh, that's a that's a secret. That's a secret. So grab Twitch. It would be Twitch browser. Twitch.tv slash smite slash embed. slash embed. Yeah, you might get an ad, just one, and then after that, it will just be me with nothing else on it. No UI or anything. Oh, I also probably need to mute it separately. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, God. You can interact with that to, to mute that. Oh, can you? Yeah, just right-click on it, interact, mute. Uh, interact... There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. All right. It, it seems to be running at a very slow frame rate, but hey, everybody. Hopefully that's just because of the ad. It's turn-based. I mean, what are you, you going to miss? Yeah, you know what? Really? It's turn-based. So, yeah. Hey everybody, I'm playing Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby because I'm an idiot, and Smite's playing Chrono Trigger Randomizer because he's smarter than I am, and that sounds like a way better time. <laughs> I'll name my characters after your opponents. Is Owl in there? I could have sworn I've seen him. Owl is in there, yeah. Owl, Tigger, and Chris are the ones who are really messed up and strong. Video games. Oh no. Oh no. Is that Bunny's name? Is it just Bunny? Rabbit? That's it. <laughs> Do you mean Rabbit? Yes. <laughs> yeah, spoilers. There's Rabbit and Owl, and then also Piglet. And uh, Winnie is a poo, which is a type of bear, but they call him Winnie. I feel like they would have given the Owl a name, right? Like, the owl's gotta have a name. Is the owl's yeah. name secretly, like, Dave? It's probably some some British name, like, Oliver or something. Yeah, you make a good point. Some some rich name, like Francis or... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, a 200-meter home run would be, like better than Babe Ruth ever did plus 50 meters or something like it's <laughs> it's wild also Pooh is a ball player and a bear oh I'm sorry over there's that one bear that everyone likes so darn much that uh eats like orange marmalade or whatever Paddington Paddington yeah Paddington. I didn't know anything about Paddington until very very recently what is Paddington's deal? Does anyone know? It's one of those things that, as a kid, it just kind of scared me, so I don't know anything about Paddington. I respect it. I respect being frightened by the strange bear. Yeah, I feel like that's how I was with, like, a lot of kids' media in general. Like, I just was made uncomfortable by it and didn't get the appeal. Also, sorry, everybody, I'm closing a bunch of tabs, but I need to favorite them for a thing I'm probably going to do later. Let me... Uh-oh, that was a little spoilery. Uh-oh, it said Hakuto no Ken out loud. Now everyone knows I'm planning some kind of Hakuto no Ken related thing at some point. Oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> so what's all open from the word go in uh, Chrono Trigger Randomizer? Pretty much anything in the two main 600 and 1080. You can go any anywhere in there. So you have like 10 stores to visit as operation number one. See if you can find anything decent at all. 
<laughs> Which I did not. But. Also, chat, I promise you that was an accident and not on purpose. I literally had 14 tabs open in Chrome and was going through and rapidly bookmarking them, but they auto played when I clicked on them and one of them I did not successfully close fast enough. <laughs> that was 100% on accident. Let's not give me credit I don't deserve. I'm not that clever. <laughs> The dev of this gave me some hot tips. I'm gonna beat my time. Nice. Okay, Inverton, my chat over here looked up uh, if Owl does in fact have a canonical name other than Owl, and it appears like the answer to that is no, but he also has many, many canonical relatives who have names that are not just Owl and are like Steven and Mary. So what the, so what the <laughs> grape nuts? Hey, so what the grape nuts? What's up with that? That makes no sense. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that he's the one who's always yarning about his family on long tirades as a joke. It's been a while since I've seen Winnie the Pooh, though. Man. <laughs> That's... So what are the big things you're looking for early on in this randomizer? End game gear, just just straight up end game stuff. Uh, any of the any of the top ten pieces will work. Uh, is there no? Uh, yo, what's good, Lord BBH? Yeah, I mean, if you want to join me and uh, play some Winnie the Pooh, I got a thirty-eight out of forty tonight, so I'm getting there. I'm gonna finish this eventually. So what are the best endgame gear? I know we were talking earlier about how like the rainbow spectacles, is it? Are like way better than they have any right to be because in the original game they just say like increases power, but like increases power to the limit. And it turns out that <laughs> means it's uh, offensive Geno boost for that character. Like it's yeah. literally plus 50% to all damage across the board. That's exactly what it is. So yeah, that's that's easily unquestionably way better than everything else. And what are those called? Rainbow specs or prism spectacles? Something like that? Yeah, prism specs. And sunglasses okay. are also in the game and they do 20%, so they're nice. 25%. If I can't find the good ones. Yeah, 25% boost to all damage. Pretty good. I'd, I'd take that <laughs> in most games if I was offered it. I'd say third or fourth place is like an 80% counterattack rate because physical damage is often useless but sometimes it's really good and countering everything every time is pretty solid what is the uh so of the final like end game weapons you can find which ones are the ones you're trying to get because chrono has like a separate best weapon right i'd say any of those guys i mean his weapon's probably the best by far because it's got a 70 percent crit rate on it which is outrageous but, um, oh, is that rainbow sword, rainbow yeah. katana, or whatever? Rainbow sword. Yeah. The uh, the second best sword for him has like a five percent crit rate, but if you do crit, it hits for like four times damage. So you hit for like four thousand. So either of those are good. But um, I like Ayla, but she doesn't even have gear. So in this, she's kind of worse. I think the randomizer hurt her the most. Like right now, she's worse yeah, than was, the uh, wizard. <laughs> It seems like she'd be really, really nice to have at the very, very beginning of the game. And then after that, whenever, like, because the problem is, right, Chrono is going to skip right from being baby at beginning of the game to being somewhere in the mid game to being end game, like over the course of you find one or two really ridiculous gear upgrades, whereas Ayla's just still kind of stuck at her level, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. She just punches. She's still pretty good. She's got some really good techs, but um, it hurts. It hurts that uh, Marl right now is hitting for more than she is. That's not supposed to happen. That's not okay. That's all she's got. <laughs> also, doesn't Marl, isn't Marl like the second lowest physical attack in the game? Yeah, they don't even, they're not even supposed to attack, really. At the end of the day, they just miss. <laughs> they don't do anything.
uh, I, th I think it's um, it's similar to a lot of randomizers in in design where you're you're killing bosses looking for key items. I think getting those is the real goal. I can probably beat all <laughs> those with just about anything at this point. I I know them pretty well. Yeah, randomizers will do that. I uh, m my most recent Super Mario RPG randomizer run in probably my fastest one overall. Uh, only problem was I was taking on uh, Smithy with uh, half two of the members of my party were level 11 and one was level 12, I believe, <laughs> is what it was, Damn. which is uh, rough. <laughs> and I didn't have any like super wild out of control, like consumable items. Like I didn't have like a bunch of red essences and um, rock candies and stuff to make up for it. It was poor. <laughs> it was like a 20 minute Smithy fight. It was ludicrous. I did one run of that. Um, the other day, my first one, and it was Bowser hitting for 700. <laughs> it was pretty strong. Yeah, I, I heard you randomized like a bunch of wild stuff too. Like you went pretty ham for your first time. Yeah, the, I tried it with some regular options and it didn't do anything. So I turned everything on instead and tried again and that was better. <laughs> yeah, you have to find the right blend of enough stuff like putting it in open world is definitely the biggest most important thing so what's like the fastest place to go do a bunch of bosses really quickly if you're looking for like key items and whatnot um i think you start with the uh well i usually do the church first because it's the first dungeon and it's got a character attached to it the characters oh, nice. are all locked up in um, in places where you would get them normally. Yeah, same for Super Mario RPG, so that makes sense. I need to get to uh, the end of time as quick as I can because this this game does a thing, a really stupid thing, where you get two techs and then you can't get any more until you get trained in magic. So for a long period of the game, like two hours, the entire part of the future, you're pretty much stuck at two techs and you don't get any XP. And this randomizer keeps that. So I need to get to the end of time and fix my characters <laughs> before it's too late, before I get to level 30 and I still have no tech. Cause yeah, you have to get it from Specchio, right? Yeah. I have to get in there and talk to him. That's all I gotta do. I just gotta chill at his house for a minute and then I'm good. But uh, I have to get there and it's not just some place I can just go to. I have to find the right items. Also, yeah, don't worry, chat. You can def I don't. I don't mind if you talk about Chrono Trigger in this chat. I'm talking about Chrono Trigger on this stream, so it's fine. <laughs> well, Spider and I are just enjoying, uh, you know, discussing some games. I'm sure if there was more tech to Winnie Pooh Home Run Derby other than just, you know, uh, do it a lot and pray, <laughs> I could answer more questions. <laughs> so, Church, even, who is the boss at the end of that one? Because it's normally... Uh... It's Jacka. This, oh. this doesn't randomize the bosses yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it does scale them up as an option, but apparently uh, the dev told me I probably shouldn't have that on because it's making it harder, but um, it scales up bosses who have important stuff, is what I've been doing. Uh... Yeah, so three characters don't need to talk to Specchio, and so they're probably the best in the randomizer. Ayla and Magus are two of them, and Robo also has nothing to learn. Like, they're better than Magus Specchio. seems... Magus seems like he'd be really, really flexible, but also doesn't, like, explode out of control because he, like, kind of lacks the dual techs, right? Yeah. He, uh, he has everything, so he's good. I mean, he has lightning. That's kind of a big problem, is only two people do, and there's two dungeons that require it. So, you either run from... <laughs> I mean, you can't beat those fights without lightning. You can't do it, as far as I know. Well, I think Magus would be okay starting out because Magus, like, he his only equipment he can find is, like, really good, right? And his default yeah. gear is pretty solid. Yeah, he's pretty strong. He's good at everything. He's he's the best wizard. And, I mean, the only thing wrong with him is he doesn't have any dual techs. Dual techs are really good. So mm -hmm. Kind of sucks that he got that stuff. I randomized the tech list, too, so sometimes I get screwed.
Oh. No! Oh, I was on a really good run. Dang, I'll have to settle for a PB at best. Nope, okay, never mind. Foul Ball City. Foul Ball City, baby! I was trying to find out what's home world. A home record derby, uh, home run derby record, 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 yeah. Records for that were in real life to compare. Oh, like how far people have hit it? How many in a row they got uh, before they got seven outs, I think is the rule of actual home run derbies. I have no idea. And it's something like but 25, I, so you'd be winning. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I uh, have a feeling the answer ain't 40 out of 50. <laughs> also, a lot of them are 200 meter home runs, which again would be the world record, which is fair because it's a bear. <laughs> I ain't starting on a strike. I ain't starting on a strike. No way. No how, Mr. Man. <laughs> Imagine if bears knew how to build muscle mass. A bear that lifts? Yeah. Terrifying. Air Bud, but instead it's a bear playing baseball. Sounds like a smart movie, honestly. It'd be really funny because everyone would mostly just be terrified of the fact that there's a bear, right? wizard doesn't have any spells that sucks <laughs> that's too bad are you, are you already on the bridge fight yeah you can go here right away if you want to oh man is there like a bunch of key items for that or there's one any reason you duck there early okay you usually get jerky or something for this so they replace that with something else i got the mass immunity <laughs> okay you know you cook at it hey I bet he chops a mean fish, dude. <laughs> like, the mass immune? Like, that, that's that got to chop a good fish. <laughs> it's so weird looking over at my stream, and I can just barely see the window of you capturing my window <laughs> yeah. in your window on a delay. So I can watch, I can watch my disappointment again. <laughs> I can see Ozzy light up when I hit him over in your screen on my screen. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, they randomized the steal tables too, which is half of why I like Ayla. Uh, in this game, stealing is not 90% oh. fail rate like it is in Final Fantasy. It's actually 90% success rate. So you steal every time almost. And there's a whole lot of good stuff, but since it's random, I have no idea what I'm taking, so it's just a waste of time. Oh, okay. So you're saying instead of being able to just steal from everyone and going for it all the time, you look at it as like you don't know how to get the good stuff guaranteed? Yeah, like if I went to the Black Omen, I would be... By the time I would leave, I'd have all the best gear in the game and everyone would be max speed. But now it has no value. Mm. <laughs> it's just a horrible place. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, that's the that's the randomizer experience for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That tracks. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm talking to Smite, and I haven't listened to the Master Spy soundtrack in a while. I misclicked. What a banger! But banger of an OST. Oh no! Yeah. That's a good one. That's a tough game. Yeah, Master Spy is a hard ass game. Yeah, I don't know why they gave the cave woman steel, but she's got it. She's really good at it. And if 90% isn't enough for you, you can put an accessory on to make it 100%. Just guarantee you that it works. 
That's really nice. That seems like that would make uh, stealing 10 speed tabs uh, very easy. Yeah. Pretty much every boss in the game, from the point where you can get her on your team, has some ridiculous thing, too, so you can always grab something nice. Hmm, this bridge seems like maybe it was uh, a little early. <laughs> this seems a little hard. Dude, I'm dinging nothing but fouls. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, Winnie. Isn't there a double charm with Ayla and Marl? Yeah, I don't Who know why. Who knows? So much of that stuff is so poorly translated to, like, might be a better hit rate. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea what it's for because... Again, nothing in Final Fantasy is ever stolen as well as she does, so it's it seems pointless. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe like if, they were thinking about having the regular steel be worse at some point. If she fails, she can just do it again. She's the fastest character in the game, so... <laughs> oh my god. This thing is still alive. It's bad news. Oh, is that the boss at the end of the bridge? Yeah. I don't know why he's still kicking. Oh, no. I'm catching some of these zigzags pretty nice. Yeah, there's a whole lot of... There's a million dual techs and... Most people haven't seen. I mean, the game's too easy. That's why I didn't know most of the mechanics of these bosses, because yeah, without yeah. gets to Lavos and doesn't have every single piece of gear in the game. That's kind of the fun thing about yeah, like Crown and Super Mario RPG randomizer is a lot of times I get some really wild gear, but I'm just like viciously under leveled, which is extremely funny considering it defaults to having double experience, <laughs> and I still end up being like level ten at the final boss, which is not enough. <laughs> So you have to get really, really good and yeah, like know the mechanics inside out. Uh, spell randomization in Mario RPG is really funny too. It's really dangerous and kind of one of those things that you don't want, really want to do in a run with too, other, too much other stuff randomized already. Uh, because the enemy can get such spells as Knockout, which is a dummied out spell that was used for testing stuff in the game uh, that instant kills your whole party and isn't blockable. <laughs> So, like, you might just be fighting, like, some random guy, and he's just like, okay, I know Ultima. Check this out. You're not going to believe it. I think I ran into that spell, but I don't think it got me. Yeah, if you have enough anti-instant KO gear, it'll like reduce it to just being really high damage. Yeah, the best one for me is I was fighting a uh, smithy wizard with spell randomization on. And was thinking to myself, well, at least smithy wizard can't get any spells that are stronger than what he has. And then he proved me wrong twice. <laughs> it was it was a good time. Discount. Jeez. <laughs> Ain't nobody got that kind of cash. Yeah, 
I definitely don't know. I know the mechanics of Chrono Trigger a little better. I definitely didn't know them in Mario RPG well enough, but I understood why. Uh, so they replaced Jinx with um, the dragon boss from the volcano, and he had like 90% evasion. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Yep. Yeah, it's it, yeah. It uh, so the thing is, it it scales the stats of the boss that gets shuffled there to match the location. So the Jinx three location has unusually high evasion. It's pretty nasty. And Culex was at max, so Mushroom Kingdom was in hell. <laughs> I didn't want to break that. We're fucking done here, baby. I'm out. Fuck you, Christopher Robin. Stuck my whole dick. <laughs> didn't want to break that focus. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo. Let's fucking go. All right. Oh, I'm nice. Hold that shit. I knew it. I could feel. I could feel the night baseball in my bones. <laughs> I could feel the night baseball in my blood. I knew the night baseball was here. Let's go, Justin. <laughs> Let's go. I should stop yelling because it is 11.30 and I live in an apartment complex, but... <clears throat> Just tell me you got 229,000 bonus points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Well, I lost the race. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hey, Dan. <laughs> Thanks for... Thanks for the host. I, uh... I need like a minute to level myself because I just finally did it. <laughs> All right. I am tweeting out that I have killed Christopher Robin. <laughs> I, I did it. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the, thanks for the hose, Dan. Um, hey, thanks for gifting out a bunch of subs. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm here with my buddy Smite, who's playing Chrono Trigger Randomizer. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm done. Um, so like, I guess I'm going for 41 now, right? Like that's how this goes. I go for 41. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What kind of pitches does Eeyore throw? Uh, Eeyore? The yeah. easiest kind of pitches. <laughs> the e the easiest. They're so slow. It like it's legitimately funny going back and playing against anyone not named Christopher Robin. It's like so easy after you've done Chris for an extended period of time. Oh, nice. Played Mahjong for the first time and also said, yo, fuck Mahjong while enjoying it. Correct. That's the that's the exact attitude of Mahjong.
seems like a complicated thing to learn. What? Zhong, I tried it once because it's in 14. <laughs> At the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever want to, if you ever want to learn it, I have been told I explain it very eloquently and make it much easier to understand than most people. So I will gladly help you. Also, I can hit up Mini Matt and Mini Matt can teach anyone to play Mahjong. So if you want to, I can teach you the ways. I had to stop because uh, I don't, I don't get along too super well with gambling long term. <laughs> I, uh, I get frustrated by gambling a lot. <laughs> Oh dang, we got rum art. Thank you, rum. <laughs> I was trying to teach my girlfriend how to play poker this morning, and I was trying to teach her the same way I learned. Casino Kid on the NES, so... Part of oh, poker is walking yeah. around <laughs> in a big RPG maze, <laughs> looking for Jack at the table. It didn't work. I forgot how to play poker by the time we were done. <laughs> I know, for me learning to play poker, I was talking about it uh, a little while ago on stream. When we were watching some stuff with like, uh, oh, what do you even call it? Like, you know those little Tiger, Tiger electronic handhelds? Like the really garbage ones with the LCD screens or whatever that were just like moving black dots and stuff? Yeah. My grandpa had a really big one of those for poker. And when I was like, I hung out at my grandparents' house a lot when I was growing up as a kid. And, um, and I'm talking like between the ages of like four and like 12 years old. Uh, and my grandpa would often just like walk away and leave that out. And I was like, yeah, sure. I could play Super Nintendo or I could try and solve the riddle of the cards. <laughs> and uh, so uh, anyway, I like playing cards now. <laughs> Thanks, grandpa, I think. <laughs> Best part about electronic poker is when uh, you know it's rigged and you get like a royal flush on your first hand. <laughs> yeah. <them> astronomical <laughs> odds and you just roll one right away. You don't. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna hold these five. <laughs> And then you get like 50 bucks for it because that's just, there's no, there's no high stakes in those. Sure, Slyo, you've seen the victory. You've seen some, you've watched someone defeat Christopher Robin, but, but have you seen Super Victory 2? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> Never seen somebody win <laughs> twice in one night. <laughs> Every so often, this man still throws heaters like nobody's business. Every so often, I still just can count the grand total of frames the ball is on screen on one hand. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, yes, goodbye, ball. I just found a new battle skip. Nice. Didn't know that fight was dodgeable. I wonder if there's like a ROM hack that lights up the floor on where activation zones are. That would help me out. So what are the main things you're trying to do for time saved in the Chrono Trigger randomizer? Like where where's going to be your big time save versus loss other than like getting good equipment early? Obviously, that's a big one. I want to get to the end of time and then I want to I want to find the ruby knife, which I have, and then I can go to the uh, I can go to um, Is is ruby knife uh like a key item to unlock something? Yeah, in this game it's it lets you get into the undersea palace, which then goes to lava. So I'm almost there. It's like half of the formula I need. I need um, I need the Dreamstone as well. Just some random key mm. items that they chose because that sure isn't what they do normally. But those are the keys I'm looking for. There's I'm just looking for a way to kill Lavos, really, and that's uh, that's the fastest way I think is through there. Probably. There's like four ways to get there, and I'm already halfway to this one, so this one's probably going to be pretty fast. What are the main things that make you lose time? Just going to a bunch of boss checks and not being able to find those couple things? Yeah, if I can't get a route open, like if I keep getting half of the half the math, I need mm. I need like two key items of the same tree 
And if I don't ever find it, I can't ever get anywhere. I have to do everything. I've been looking for gear a lot because I've always been worried about losing the Lovos, but now that I've studied that fight and understand better than I ever have before how that fight works, I don't think that's a trouble anymore. I had no idea how he worked at all. He has a bunch of, uh, bunch of gimmicks that don't make any sense until you read what they are. I just like to think about the fact that we both have played both hard mode hacks and the randomizers of our like respective favorite RPGs and we both know how bad it can go. <laughs> like sometimes I think about the hard mode hack of Chrono Trigger where the Lavo <laughs> spawn each had like 8000 HP and it was like the funniest shit on the planet to me. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the cliff note like, for that was reason. uh they're supposed to be scary, so I made them hit for 5,000, which wow. your max health is 900. Yeah, feel free to post a clip. Well, I can't type exclamation point permit your name in right now, but if someone in chat could, that would be awesome. I'm, uh, I'm still fighting Chris. Even though I won, I want to kill him again, you see. The worst thing in the it's hard mode hack, win. um, the worst thing in the hard mode hack was, um, those, the screens in the, uh, the robot zone. For some reason, they decided that they should constantly be gaining defense, so it's a damage race, and if you don't beat them before the defense gets too high, you'll start doing no damage at all. That was pretty gross. <laughs> that was pretty awful. Yeah, how do you even deal with that? I got lucky. I got some big crits. I mean, it, your hard mode at that point is just grinding numbers to beat a wall. Yeah, because what can you even do against that? Do you have any ways to, like, pull the defense down or anything? Nope. That doesn't exist. So, they also heal the boss, so you need to kill them. They also had, like, instead of having 1 HP, they had, like, whatever the most is. 65,000 or something ridiculous like that. Whatever the max bit <laughs> you can have. Man, like, I only got, like, 31, and I'm, like, I'm just smiling ear to ear. This this idiot can't do anything to me anymore. I beat him. Every every time he throws a heater past me, that's fine. I already beat you, man. <laughs> like, like, yeah, dude, we we already finished the tournament set. It's just casuals now. <laughs> me and Chris Robin just labbing it. He can't uh, kill you in any way that matters. Yeah, I've become the unkillable one. <laughs> Yeah, I beat Chris earlier this stream. I'm just going for 41 now. I thought I'd be better. It was really unfortunate. I was on pace to get like a 45 and then he threw like four zigzags in a row and I only managed to get one of them over the fence and I was like, oh no. I was so worried I was going to dump the entire run down the toilet and managed to clutch it out, hit one of the whitest zigzag balls I've ever seen and hit it dead center like 200 meters, like perfect hit. And I was just like, yes, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this now. Yeah, Tina knows what's up. <laughs> Look at that perfect run. I'm I gotta get the 50 out of 50. I need what to see it? on the what, cover what, what PC gamer. 12 dollars? Like, whatever. It couldn't be that hard to get 50 <laughs> out of 50. I've already gotten 40 out of 50. And yeah. I got 39 out of 50. Like, how hard could it be? <laughs> Just another number. <laughs> That's right. I can count that high. Pfft, easy. When people are watching me play this one, they get excited when they see me learn the ultimate tech first. But I'll tell you what, when you only have 15 mana, the tech that costs 20. I was gonna say, case. yeah, doesn't the ultimate tech, isn't like, aren't all the triple techs like 50 MP or some shit? They're 20 each and you only have 100 mana and you don't start with that much, you get that much when you level up, so I, I can't currently afford to, uh, yeah, we have no skills, is what that means. We spent forever learning this piece of garbage. It hurts. I just did a boss without any magic. 
Damn wizard. So what spells do you even have access to before you can get to the end of time and talk to Speccio? Do you get anything? Uh, you get three random ones. So she's actually got some oh, good ones. My okay. wizard is an idiot and he doesn't have any spells at all. He's working on it. He's getting there. Is it, is it Magus? Yeah. Is Magus your wizard? It would and be he nice. he knows if, no spells? Yeah, my freaking professional wizard. <laughs> the guy who, if you knocked on, if, if he was in an office building, he would have a placard on his door that said, wizard. <laughs> like, that's his job. There's soda pop up where the mass immune is. Normally. Is it a legendary soda? Yeah. <laughs> is it a legendary Coke? The last is it just Coke like Zero. in Fallout, where they have the Nuka Cola Quantum. Yeah, is that is yeah is that Coke Zero Quantum? <laughs> <laughs> what a good quest! Thanks for thanks for the <laughs> memory. Thanks, thanks, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Quantum cola, goddamn it! <laughs> We're doing Look world building. Fallout, We're man. just gonna make people weird. <laughs> they live in a shack and pluck coke. Why are there Why are there bricks all over the ground? Did no one ever like they've been in this situation for how long? And they've just never picked up the bricks on the ground. Still, okay, <laughs> I it, guess it rains bricks. That's how this bad guy, however. Are. He, he has an incredible collection of cola bottles that he's gone <laughs> far and wide to find, but, but he's just never picked up this rock off the ground in the middle of his house. Rooms or nuclear tech? <gasps> yeah, nuclear tech, you got me. You know where my heart lies. <laughs> I've learned the value of running away from these awful fights that are really just don't need to fight him. I don't think I was even aware that you could run away from Chrono Trigger Battles until a couple years ago. It's not something I ever did, and it's kind of weird. It just kind of... Right again. Running away from Chrono Trigger Battles. I've been doing it way more than I ever have in this. Yeah, how how do you even run from Chrono... Is it just like an option you can choose? L and R, and then they just, they oh, just disappear on okay. you. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Yeah, Mario RPG running sucks but one of the best things you can find during the randomizer is actually uh there's an item called sia that you usually find in the frog yeah. coin shop in the harbor yeah and it's usually dog doo-doo because like who wants to auto like who wants a guaranteed run from battles that aren't boss battles in like what who is this for like you need the levels in mario rpg you need to fight all the enemies it's not like there's too many of them uh but when you're doing randomizer it turns out if you like accidentally jump and clip some fight and it's like eight dudes and you're like i don't want to do this <laughs> it's really nice to just be able to like uh, i'd like to skip the next minute and a half of fighting please <laughs> i would like to move on yeah I think are I there any run items are there any run items in uh chrono trigger no i think running works pretty well though uh unless you're not allowed to run at all it's pretty fast it's the final fantasy run so This game really, I, I gotta give it credit for fixing most of Final Fantasy VI and IV's problems where stealing sucks and running away is awful. All that kind of stuff works correctly in this game. It just works. <laughs> like you don't run for 20 minutes to get away from a fight you're allowed to run from. You just leave. It doesn't take forever. Yeah, and the thing is, like, other games have done the, you know, hold two buttons down and run away thing. Like, I mean, Final Fantasy IX does that, right? Yeah. yeah. And the problem is sometimes it just won't work for very long periods of time, particularly if you're playing some mods of the game that seem <laughs> to make running just impo just impossible. It just, it just doesn't work. I Oh, my God. The number of times I was hanging out with Charles and Teok and I was trying to keep my cool, I was like... 
I was trying to be cool and talk to my cool friends and like not get mad <laughs> at this game. Like I was like holding run for like a solid 45 seconds and no running was happening. And I was just like, mm. <laughs> man, I really like Final Fantasy IX. I'm like, I don't want to be unpleasant around Charles and Teok because I like both of them a lot. But <laughs> there were a few times I was getting super tight about it. <laughs> After four, it's most of the Final Fantasies. Okay, I, I I didn't remember that from seven or eight, but I it makes perfect sense. Yeah, right now I don't have any magic at all uh, for these guys, so I, I can't even fight them if I wanted to. Still? Well, I need lightning. I ain't got that, because my wizard's a dumbass. <laughs> he's learned fire first, because he don't know what he's doing. Oh, do you still not have Chrono even? No, I probably won't get to use him, because he's taking too long to find. No way am I going to get a 41 at this rate. Time to restart the run. I desire the sequel to winning. <laughs> Let me put on some Yakuza 7 battle themes. Now, there, now there's no ST. So, like, how do you gauge your progress in the Chrono Trigger randomizer? Like, what, what is the end state? Where do you actually need to go fight Lavos to end it? Uh, you can do it through the Black Omen, the end of time. Uh, the the frustration is that normally it's something that's really easy to do. You can do it whatever you want in the normal game, but that's not the case here. You gotta you gotta find one of the routes and clear it. So you gotta do at least two dungeons, really. I mean that that makes sense because otherwise it would just be find random gear, get enough levels, and instantly go to Lavos, and that's not terribly interesting of a randomizer. So yeah, you can see why they would make it. You have to route a bit. I've been trying to learn those routes. So as soon as I unlock one of those paths, I just get to work on that. And if I need gear, I guess I'd go looking for it in the big chest dumps. Hmm. Are there a couple of those? Like, it seems I remember one of the castles has like eight chests in it, right? Yeah, when you get the pendant powered up, you can go get a whole bunch of junk. That's like the, uh, that's the biggest one. Uh, as soon as you do that in the normal game, you get access to a whole bunch of chests that were teasing you all, all game long. There's a whole bunch of loot on that. And then the stores, since it's a randomizer, of course the stores are loaded. Hey, lightning, oh boy, too late. Yeah, I, um, I think the ways are through the Black Omen, uh, through the 12th century, and, uh, using the time machine to smash him. But that part requires unlocking something, too. Yeah, I think if I were to do a Chrono Trigger randomizer, I would, uh, either A, need a guide, or B need to play through Chrono Trigger once again beforehand, because it's been a long time since I've played that game to completion. I think yeah. it would be fun to play with someone who really knows the game inside and out, just because then I could, like, you know, have a fun little game of, here's what the vanilla skill name is, guess what it actually does. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, what does Confuse do? Did you guess Quad Slash? Why? That's the right answer, but why? <laughs> Isn't it confused that's like quad slash or is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> that's the most egregious one. <laughs> and then like charm, which is steel. Yeah. It gets really bad when you get into the complicated mechanics like I was talking about that I didn't know really. Um, a lot of the combo attacks, like when you combine fire and ice and lightning together, that creates shadow magic and none of those three elements. So if the boss is immune to shadow, it heals them. 
but uh, that's kind of hard to know from the description. Which is just the words Delta Attack. God, right. So, are, are there any of the dual or triple techs that you see them and you're just instantly like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. This is my party now. Yeah, uh, Blaze Kick. Uh, Ayla's involved in most of the good ones, honestly. <laughs> if she's doing something with somebody, it's probably good. I can definitely recognize Is Blaze Kick, um, uh, Luca and Ayla, or? Yeah, it's her best move in Luca's fire, so it's. There's another, there's another version of that that's the opposite, and that's worse. But, but uh, Triple Kick is just... She just hits them three times, and she does a lot of damage, so that's always good. And if you light her on fire mm -hmm. first, that's even better. That's the idea. <laughs> just buff up one of the best DPS moves in the game and give it an element, so that if they are weak to that element, it's, like, super explosive. Yeah, it hits for like 5,000, which is, you just don't hit for that much in this game. That's, that's not an okay yep. number to be hitting for. That's too, way too much. The final boss is like 12,000 HP, so if you're hitting for that much, you're really yeah. crushing them in bits. Are there... Uh, I was trying to think, because like, the elemental weaknesses is definitely not something I used last time I played through the game, because I was just still too young. Um, it seems like, I mean, lightning is like luminaire and shit, right? Is yep. lightning and like Magus is lightning spells explicitly. Isn't that what like most stuff is weak to in most of the game, or is it a little more spread out than I realize? I feel like it's it's mostly either they're immune to all magic or they're not immune to any, and then there's a bunch of specific ones, and I think they did a pretty good job mixing up the specific ones. Lightning uh, isn't any more common than the rest, I don't feel like. Not really. Um, they, they do a lot of um, gimmicks in this game. That make you have to uh, spread out your tech. <laughs> I've got the best bent hilt in town. Thanks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> How much does it sell for? Ten grand. Wow! What a deal. <laughs> I think I just got my route forward. Okay, found my dude. <clears throat> oh, almost. I am getting like concerningly okay at hitting the zigzag pitches at this point. Like I'm not even getting that many fouls off of them. I'm just like getting either a full home run or a hit. And like one that's like 98 meters out of 100. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get 50 out of 50 this year. <laughs> Who knows? Every so often he still hits me with a pitch that I, I am still surprised by. Every so often the limits of this thing's programming and the lack thereof still shocks me. I have completed it and yet still sometimes Christopher Robin really pulls out a new one. <laughs> <laughs> desperate for money oh is there something real good in shops are shops randomized in this yeah i'm trying to buy consumables and they're they're way too expensive but i don't have a choice so i'm mm. selling all my best gear for the characters i'm using legendary stuff the three mana potions
I just realized I wasn't on track for PB. Oops. I need to remember it's not good enough to win anymore. I need to win plus. <laughs> Well, I think it's been a few years, but I finally feel justified in having a Christopher Robin emote. <laughs> now that I've killed him, I definitely deserve it. No one, no one will, no one ever did. But if anyone was ever thinking about talking shit for me having it, now they can eat my butt. <laughs> they can, they can, they can chomp these grape nuts. <laughs> yeah, I beat him earlier. I'm just, I'm trying to go for uh, more. <laughs> Yeah, all the key items are behind bosses in this. Except for this one. <laughs> I, I say that lying to everybody is I get one from an NPC. has been arrested. <laughs> oh no. So you get different items from the court case depending on how you respond, right? Is that still a thing in the randomizer or is the court case just gone? It's gone, but um, normally you just okay. get like an ether or something. Something pretty... I was gonna say, yeah, it's just like a couple potions. It's nothing big. Yeah. They pretty much cut out all the uh, cutscenes and dialogue in this. Yeah, makes sense. That seems like a pretty high priority for a randomizer. Which, like, since they had a glitch where they knew how to do it, it seems like they have a pretty good understanding. I actually don't know any of the glitches for this game, but there's a switch to turn them off, too. It seems like they're speedrunner focused here. Yeah, makes sense. I, a lot of the stuff is, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, there, there's a lot of stuff in the Mario RPG randomizer of like glitch, uh, removal and stuff. So you can actually like turn off stuff like max skip, which is pretty neat. Or like Geno world doing flat nines to Exor. You can just say fix Exor, make Exor not <laughs> die instantly to that. Cause it turns out when you understand, yeah, just that part of Exor is missing the heavy flag. Well, it turns out if you're doing a randomizer and messing with all the everything anyway, you can just give him the heavy flag back. <laughs> like, you can just fix the heavy flag. There is another one of these randomizers that does different stuff. And the same devs were working on that one. Uh, one of them was anyway, so I'm hoping they're gonna bring in some of those features. Like messing up the pallets. I saw Mario RPG has that. Just rotate the colors. Yeah, I... Hmm. How would you even do pallet swaps in Chrono Trigger? I mean, I guess the same way, right? Yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> I did have it all. Oh, are they... Some of the palettes look good in Mario RPG Randomizer. Some of them I uh, lovingly refer to as Piss Mario. <laughs> you can guess. You can guess which. Uh, you can guess which ones I think look good.
Oh boy. <laughs> Every so often I get lost in thought for a split second and then I just get a heater down the middle. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, are you already going up the mountain? No, I'm in prison. Oh no, that's the okay. Yeah, that's the. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to solve this through like a thirty by thirty pixel stamp of a window. I just saw you enter in the thing. Okay, yeah, this is jail number one. I don't know if jail number two is here. I guess it is. I never got that far. Game is usually endable by the time you would get to jail two. Also, why would you ever go to jail too on purpose? Because like that just leads into the Black Omen, right? Which is like a vicious part of the game in Randomizer. There's a lot of tech XP up there. I might, I would probably do it now if I had the choice. Also, yeah, Chad, I can't wait to highlight the whole run just to see how long you have to maintain pure focus <laughs> to pull this off. Because it it's probably only in actuality like a minute and a half, but oh my god, if it doesn't feel like six minutes. <laughs> yeah, gel 2 is, uh, they actually remove your weapons in gel 2 and you can't fight, but Ayla doesn't have any weapons, so she's with you, you just... You're good. Whatever. She's just assuming you're appropriately leveled. Yeah. Can't unequip fist. Yeah. Yeah. Jail one. They don't even unequip you. Do you? Do they? Nah. They don't know about that. That's new stuff. That's wizard thinking. Wait, what's wizard thinking? Unequipping Disarming a hostage? Yeah. <laughs> Only a wizard would do that. What? <laughs> I mean, it seems like a good idea, but <laughs> I need more power to you, I guess. Hey, if we're here to hate wizards, you know I'm on board. <laughs> All right. Have you successfully escaped? We are escaped. Should be pretty easy. the dragon tank immune to shadow, I'm not sure. It is not. It's dead. The game wasn't prepared for this consequence. Right, the stupid dragon tank. Yeah. How do you even beat that thing? It, it's like... It's a three-part battle, it, and it's immune to fire and lightning until you uh, break its head. So, you know, it just happens to be immune to the two things you bring. Yeah, and then you need to have it to finish it, right? 
Nah, you can do it without it, but it's it's nice to be able to use your damn skills. Time to go berserk. I finally got to go to Specchio. I'm on my way. I get spells. It's about midnight here. I'm probably gonna do a couple more runs and then I'll just host over and hang out for a bit and not be playing baseball. I think the victory has clouded my head and I can no longer focus. I don't think I'm gonna get the big 41 tonight. Just a victory, no big deal. Not what I want. <laughs> I am not getting any damn items this time. It's bad. Purple sword, what is this? Purple sword? Is that like a frog one? It's wild stuff. It is a magic sword from the future past. The future past. To hit a ball you hate to hit a ball <laughs> and have it only be a hit you hate to not yeah. home run a ball i just i just want the dinger smite smite i'm here for dingers <laughs> i just need the dingers <laughs> okay one more one more run <laughs> this ball was merely it <clears throat> I'm gonna open one of these chests, it's gonna have a good item in it, it's gonna be exciting, it'll be the first one. It's just a matter of time, they can't do it forever, they can't keep it up. They gotta give me something. <laughs> yeah. I've always been afraid to fight Lavas without, like, status protection, because he causes, um, confusion. And in this game, that's... That's the end. That's it. That's the end of you. If the, your whole team gets confused. But it turns oh, out. Oh, God, yeah. Because, I mean, because you're. Any one person on your team deals more damage from a raw attack than any one of your team's HP. <laughs> yeah. It's just really nasty. It doesn't expire very quickly either. It's, it's gross. 
But it turns out, once you memorize the HP values of all the bosses and you can control his, his attacks, it ain't so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Pattern manipulation, beautiful. You just gotta go in knowing that the left arm has 4,000 more HP than the right, so you do 4,000 <laughs> HP, and then you hit them both at the same time until they're both dead at the same time, and then all of a sudden, you know, what are you, an idiot? Just, that's how you fly lavas, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. God, the zigzags. Even after the winning run, the zigzags are still a nice roll. Oh, yo, off with the big host. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's good? What's good, everybody? No, off. Don't tell me you're sorry. I already won. I'm just trying to do better than perfect. I already got the 40. I already finished. I'm just trying to get 41 out of 50. I don't want to win. I want a super win too. I want to take Christopher Robin and break his neck with my hand <laughs> via baseball. <laughs> that was a dark episode. Yeah, pretty wild when that happened on Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Tough times on Hundred Acre Woods. <laughs> And yeah, in the corner, uh, there is a uh, smite who's playing the Chrono Trigger randomizer over on his stream at twitch.tv slash smite. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple more attempts at uh, better than winning, I guess. <laughs> Winnings for chumps. As you can see, I'm on a pretty good run now, too. Like this is another another solid winning pace run. So I'm definitely getting better at this. The concept of me getting consistent enough to speedrun this is not out of the question. I'm going super gutsy and not bringing a healer. I'm getting ready for the big boss fights. And I have nothing. <laughs> you were a broken man and from another broken man, I respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to talk to y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same, same. From a Sonic 06 speedrunner to, I'm not, just just go to speedrun.com and look up author blues and just run down the page. <laughs> oh, man. I see you've been uh, playing some um, Sekiro recently off. How's that been going for you, bud? Game seems really neat, but it's got a pretty aggressive learning wall, for sure. Oh, routing Bowser Fury. That's right. I saw you were doing the 480 race, uh, 480 star race. Finished it on hard mode and loved it. Nice. And yeah, I saw you were uh, doing a 480 star race with, uh, God, it was like, Black Attack was there. Uh, I'm totally blanking right now, but it was like a five person race. And it took me a second to process. Oh no, Off has decided the 380 star category isn't enough and has found a hundred more stars to add. And then I remembered, oh yeah, Bowser's Fury. That makes sense. <laughs> that tracks. I haven't played that yet, but I heard it has online play. Uh, the newer version of it at least does yeah i uh i mm, i would worry about the quality of it just the net play bowser's fury is extremely good yeah i was watching you do some uh play bowser's fury for probably like a couple hours over uh the last few nights it seemed really neat it seemed like some of the speedrun stuff it, like the routing over whether bowser has appeared or not is going to be pretty complicated 
Because, like, there's certain blocks on the island that you have to have Bowser come and blow up for you. And it seems like he just kind of leaves after you pick up, like, a single shine or something. Oh, the co-op solid? Nice. Good to hear. I've only played the first target two and Wii. Oh, of, uh... Well, this is uh, 3D World, so this is the Wii U one. Yeah, that one. I had that, and I played... Uh, I didn't want to play it by myself, so I only played a little bit. It, I recommend playing through it yourself if you haven't. It's a really, really fun game. Uh, the new version changes the physics a lot. I'm not sure how folks are going to be feeling about it. <laughs> the leaderboard currently disallows Amiibo. I think that'll be changed. I... Mm, I, I think it comes down to how easy it is to print amiibo cards and like nfc is it nfc scanning for those like the near field chips if you could get like pretty easily copyable nfc systems to make that more accessible that's always the big concern right is uh with amiibo based categories is like it's less about the tech and more about the accessibility of the product right I know people have been spoofing the NFC stuff for a long time. I think I have, I think I actually have a programmable one still here somewhere. I don't know if it still works. It was like 15 bucks and it let me just have every amiibo in Smash Brothers, which was nice. the world record two days in is already so fast they have to just wait for bowser okay so the amiibo is kind of a foregone conclusion yeah at the very least it'll be its own category right worse comes worse you end up with any percent and any percent no amiibo That's the nice thing about categories though. As long as you don't go too overboard and end up with one of those category or one of those games where there's like 400 categories and like some of them get 500 submissions a day for a joke category. Like for example, break dirt in uh, Minecraft, just a random example, not specifically they have the worst case of it. <laughs> oh yeah, and 100% and 100% amiibo list. I wonder if those will be that different though. Since in 100%, well, yeah, I guess so. Is this song from Yakuza? Yeah, this is uh, Yakuza 7. The best part about finishing the Yak uh, Yakuza 7 is I now can add its music to all of my playlists without worrying <laughs> about getting hit by spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> like, I love that game. That game was awesome. The music's so fun. Oh, 100% is the one that's busted. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. I just bought the Monster Train soundtrack and something else. I can't remember what it is. Ooh, there, there's a couple songs on the Monster Train soundtrack I really like. Uh, Remnant Waltz is amazing. I think Simple Machines might have been one of the other tracks I really liked off that. Jeez, I should play Monster Train again, huh? <laughs> like, every time I watch you play Monster Train, I'm like, I should play Monster Train. But like, <laughs> I'm right. I should play Monster Train more. That game is incredible. Big patch coming soon. Uh, I don't know when. Free DLC. Sekiro owns you and Doc are going to do a co-op mod sometimes. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds great. I know Doc loves that game to death, and it sounds like you had a really good time with it, so. I think watching the speedrun energy combined with the knowledgeable clown energy will be very strong on that stream. That sounds like a hell of a good time. Well, if Monster Train is paid DLC, I'll buy it. I owe them at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, like, I, I think I paid, like, 20, 25 bucks for that game, and I've probably put, like, 50-plus hours into it. Like, yeah, if they want $10, absolutely. I think I did two sponsorships for them, so they paid me <laughs> to play for Actually, three. yeah, now that you mention it, I think I did do a bounty for Monster Train at some point. So, 
Yeah, I think I, I think I do owe them at least ten more dollars <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Ooh, you love to see a home run barely make it. A little crispy home run. You know, thank y'all for the follows, and hey, if you can, you should follow twitch.tv slash smite s-m-i-g-h-t as well. Good morning. There's some Chrono Trigger randomizer, and also, smite just streams a lot and streams really good stuff. Um, have you seen this, um... One sec, it? let me finish this run. I might get 41. Looks good. Yeah, I might get 41. Yeah, I'm godlike. I'm actually just godlike tonight. <laughs> I'm just godlike. 42? Eat what my the? shorts. Eat my shorts, you little piece of shit. Eat my shorts. I'm <laughs> godlike. Two in one night. Two in one night, and one of them's 42. Get good, idiot. Learn to baseball better, you little shit. <laughs> All right. Nice. I'm going to host y'all over to Smite. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I beat the game twice, and the second time I did it uh, with purpose. Yeah, I'm going to get to the point where I do run, full runs soon. It's true, Tina. I'm going to do full game runs soon, and that's a nightmare, and I shouldn't think about it in advance, but I'm definitely going to do it. All right. Well, uh, catch y'all later. Have a good one. Hey, thanks for Hey. Hey, what are you doing over here? Hey, Stop what's this? Little... I'm dying to robots. Ooh, that's less good. <laughs> or am I? Yeah, I am. <laughs> God, I'm immune to the laser. Somebody's gonna live. Hey, so host. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I actually need to tweet out the 42. Maybe this is... Oh, I can't run from this fight. This fight's hell. Cool robots. I might wipe out here. I've underestimated these robots. music in the background before it drives me up a wall. Okay, how about let me get over to your stream. I survived the robots. Well, you just got eight to go. And then you'll be there. Okay, that's that's enough robot. Let's let's uh let's stop it now. That was hell. Some alarm is going off in the distance, and it was very loud, and I thought it might be something in my apartment. It is not. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Dang, already in the future. So what have you already done the checks of? You said you did the church first. Obviously, you did prison one. Um, what else have you done so far? Uh, there's not too many things left, really. Um, there's uh, Hecron's cave, and that's almost it that I have access to right now. Hmm. 
And so um, what are you hoping to find at this point? I need Dreamstone so I can go finish the game. And then maybe- Oh, you still want a Dreamstone? Here. Okay. For some reason that unlocks Tyranno Lair, so I need that. Oh boy, a helmet. That's the first one I've ever found. All right, 100 defense. It would be nice to find a store with some actual healing items in them. That would, that would be good. I did find a um, silver stud recently. That's not too bad. It would be way better though. I found the sun... the sunshades. So that's good. That's an upgrade. I was gonna say, have you seen this um, Ocarina Time mod for 60 FPS? Oh no! Does it change the native game speed, or is it just yep. somehow tricks it into rendering twice as fast? I'm gonna try it out. It, it looks really good. It also can be accompanied with a 4K HD mod, <laughs> so I'm gonna do Ooh. the big Ocarina, the mighty Ocarina, if I can get it running. The game doesn't like running yeah. at that speed, so you have to turn it off every once in a while. I see. But it, it otherwise works. <laughs> Sometimes it just stops working arbitrarily, but other than that, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you'll just have to make sure you save state every, like, 10 minutes or so. Dang, that sounds good though. I, I, you know, it's been one of the weird things about doing Cyber Couch recently is playing all these old N64 games and being like, damn, the frame rate was really like, <laughs> like <laughs> man, we th I thought this was fine. I, good thing I was 10 when this was out, man. I don't know if I'd still be in video games if I was 20 when this was out. <laughs> it's got some controls. <laughs> I would love to see a speed run. I, I almost want to see all the different things the 60 FPS mod would break. I almost wonder if less speed run tricks would work. Like, if there is sometimes where they clip through wall by using like a bullet through paper issue, you know, where you're moving so quickly that you're on one side of the wall on frame one, and then you're on the other side of the wall on frame two, and you never were detected as colliding with the wall, so the wall was just never there. But if it's 60 FPS instead of like 20, that means you have to go three times as fast to successfully bullet through paper, right? Yeah. So I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if that would keep stuff from working or if, I mean, it's speedrunners. They'd find some kind of new shenanigan, right? They're great at that. <laughs> so and get this robot to follow directions. Yeah, nice. Well, as far as the weirdest of that generation, uh, everything I've heard about the Sega Saturn made it sound like it was just the ultimate nightmare machine to program for. Like, you know how... Uh, most early 3D is built up with a bunch of triangles and whatnot. Yeah. How it's like pretty it's easy shape. to optimize for triangles. We have a lot of different math to optimize for triangles, so you can do that pretty well. Yeah, so the Saturn use squares <laughs> for some reason <laughs> they used rectangles, which it turns out is way harder to optimize and makes running things a nightmare. Also, I think it had it had like five or six CPUs and like two of those were running at a different clock speed or something. Like, it's just a nightmare. Like everything I've heard about hard to develop for consoles it has been just blown out by everything I hear about the Saturn. Like whenever I'm like, oh yeah, this seems like it'd be a pain because of X, Y, or Z. Everyone's like, oh yeah, check out X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G about the Saturn. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That helmet I just got two of that only one person can wear is pretty good. Pretty nice helmet.
makes my dude immune to status. If one person is immune to status, then the rest can be cured. That's the ticket. You yeah. just need one. Yeah, you'll you'll see a very similar sentiment if you play the Mario RPG randomizer more, where you're just like, you know what? I'm fine with Pedal Blast as long as one person doesn't get turned into a mushroom. <laughs> as long as one person can act, we're good. I, uh, my PB for this, uh, with the correct options on, is currently something like 3 hours and 10 minutes, and I don't see how I can possibly take longer than that this time. Because I'm cruising. I just need some healing items. I mean, that's all I need. I just need a store that sells elixirs or something. Yeah, like, is it mostly MP at this point, or does just no one in your party have access to a meaningful heal? I usually run one of the healers who has an AoE heal, and the only one I have here is a single target crappy heal. Probably the worst heal Yeah, I was gonna game. say, because isn't it Luca and Ayla who have the really big heals later on? Uh, the frog and the robot have them. Oh, frog, 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 right, right, it's frog. Chrono has yeah. res, and that's really good. So, that's taken care of. He's here. But, uh, I'd rather my people not die. Yeah, definitely a better choice if you have to choose between the two. Yeah. <laughs> this does cure status. Weird. Yeah, again, Mario RPG has kind of another parallel here. It, it's weird, especially seeing the math in Chrono Trigger and, like, the way abilities are laid out and then looking at Super Mario RPG and really seeing how, like, some of it was like they're like let's make chrono trigger but like way easier to access for kids you know because like hp rain you get early on is like a pretty okay single target heal but it doesn't do status effects and then later on you get therapy which does and then you get group hug which is the best heal spell in probably any game <laughs> like probably any game that's ever been made it's the ludicrous unless they have unless someone has a heal spell in another game that's literally cost zero mp and heals everyone to full anyway <laughs> I think Bowser Wildly had that good. when I played. <laughs> he had everything. It was, it was one man army. Yeah, group hug is super sick. And then yeah, you have come back, which is for I think two FP for for the equivalent of two MP. You can revive someone to full health as long as you time pressing the Y button correctly, <laughs> which is not hard. So oh hell yeah, time thing. for the weird eyeball fight. Yeah, the son of the sun. This thing's weird. Check this out. Let's cheat. Oh, will this just kill all of the... <laughs> Wait, because isn't this whole thing you're supposed to hit the correct flame? Yeah. Well, now there's only three instead of four. Oh, but you eat one counter attack, but he does exile one of the... Okay. Oh, all three of the... Oh, or... Hmm. Wait, but how are all three misses? Um, you have to hit it with an attack, so I think one of these is real since he only ate one. Oh, I guess not. I should try again yeah, and see if I can eat another one. This boss yeah, is I was very really much confused because it, it seems like you black hold the correct answer, which. Oh, that's what? right. <laughs> it, it doesn't work until he shuffles once. Now they're active. They weren't even turned on yet. Now it can be done. Oh, okay. So whichever one's real, and he won't even try anymore. He's given up. <laughs> He's just, he just blew it. We're immune to fire, so this boss is free. That's standard, though. One day I'll do damage. Yeah, if I hit this last one and it still doesn't work, then I'll be nervous. <laughs> if you somehow did exile the correct answer permanently. Oh, that'd, that'd be pretty just... badass. That'd be the epic uh, uh, Hey, I love to learn. If there's anything to learn about tonight, it's that I love to learn. Ah, okay, so there's the right answer. <laughs> We 
Well, now we character. know. You can exile that instantly and you don't get in trouble. <laughs> That is really smart, though. Make it so it's one and three instead of one and four, you know? I think it's supposed to be one and six, but they, uh, it did me a favor in the randomizer anyway. And I took it a step further. Rudely. Yeah, because doesn't it default to five around him? That's interesting that when you miss, it still hits. Oh, that makes it, that means it's like blowing the candles out in, uh, in the cake boss in Super Mario RPG, because that, even if you miss, it still blows a candle out. I'm glad it's the exact same boss. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of, uh, little gameplay stuff that seems to have, uh, like quality of life stuff that was in both games, which, I mean, makes sense, you know? Same company, at the very least, you know, in a pretty similar era. Yeah, I don't oh, know the why, multiple but the robos fight with six instead of four. Weird. So the randomizer just shuffles the amount of dudes, or I don't know why, but yeah, they made that fight four robots instead of six. They also made them way stronger, so you know, I don't, I don't know what the balance is. They're like four times stronger, and there's only four of them. Maybe yeah, they... what you were mentioning about Super Mario RPG, where you got a really nasty boss at Qlix 3, so it dodged forever. Yeah, that's the exciting part about the Super Mario RPG randomizer, is it scales the enemy's stats to be, like, similar to the boss that is there in vanilla, if that makes sense. So, like, since it was the last dojo fight, they had very high physical attack, very high evade, very high speed, and low magic attack, low magic defense, which is neat. So, like you'll end up with bosses like occasionally you'll fight like the cake in jinx dojo and you're like hell yeah baby because most of what the cake does is spells so a really dangerous location is luckily made super easy just because you kind of lucked out and rolled like a no magic boss which is cool and then you get the other side where like if you include culix's lair you'll get somebody that you're like, oh, this won't be too bad of a boss in Kulix's lair. And then you're like, oh, it turns out when something has more physical attack than anything else in the game, anything they do is scary. <laughs> like, there's actually nothing easy about this. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't actually know how Kulix works at all. <laughs> I just remember him being a bad thing to fight. Helix is one big boy with a bunch of crystals in front of him. Uh, the thing you need to know for randomizer and how the stats are shaked out is they scale according to what you have to kill. And in the Kulix fight, you can absolutely just rush Kulix down and the crystals will just blow up after you kill him. So the HP isn't ludicrously high. Yeah, recently, for example, I had a run where in Kulix's lair, I had the clowns, knife guy and great guy. Uh, yeah, you ever seen someone, uh, through a, like, super suit and Geno boost and everything, uh, still with a physical attack do, like, 255 damage? Because, uh, I have. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, he the replaced, clowns were uh, so dangerous. <laughs> he replaced Mac for me, and I thought that was unbeatable, so I came back 10 levels later, and he had 600 HP, and he died in two hits. I just Yeah, exactly, because... Yeah, he's scaled to be like Mac, so he has similar stats to Mac. Now, what you have to remember is, in Mario RPG, um, a lot of enemy spells have a base power, and that base power is, they start with that and then add to it. So, like, even though Kulix was probably very easy to blow up very quickly, uh, he still had access to, like, some spells that would have ruined your shit. <laughs> like, they, if you went in there at, like, level 3, he would absolutely hit you with a water blast that did 150 to everybody and just make you fall on the floor instantly. Um, how much HP does each crystal have? They're actually different. Yeah, it, like wind has less than fire, has less than water, has less than earth, I think is what it is for that order. One of them heals, and I, I think that one breaks first. Water. 
Water is the healer. Yeah, if you're not planning on rushing down, you want to go for wind or water first for sure. That's what I remember from when I actually did Culex regular. Because the mm -hmm. one on the end would break first, then only Peach would be alive at any point. She had the shell on. Yeah, lazy shell. You, I mean, you can still find lazy shell on occasion. What's really wild is if you get a situation like, uh, I had Bowser that had the lazy shell weapon, the lazy shell armor, and the attack scarf. And normally, it's like minus 50 attack or whatever for the lazy shell, so you can't really keep attacking while you have that on. But it turns out, if Bowser, whose normal best weapon in the game is plus 45, instead has one that's plus 90, and also has the attack scarf, which is another plus 30, and he's not supposed to be able to equip, yeah, you can just have a completely invincible Bowser who can still beat the shit out of people. <laughs> it, complete, it rules. It's so good. I had the <laughs> uh, randomized stats, and my lazy shell was uh, not so great. The uh, randomized equipment stats, I think, is a bad idea. Like... Uh, I, I want to see maybe like a bias system on that where it like tries to keep it kind of close-ish to the original stats because I had two runs in a row where the super suit, which is normally plus 50 to every stat, invincibility from everything, just completely bonkers, broken as hell, uh, instead was zero attack, zero defense, zero magic attack, 127 magic defense. And it was like, ah, this is not good armor. <laughs> Mine was, uh, I had that. Um, I had two of them, and they were like, they were like a hundred damage and no defense. So that's what I was. It's pure, pure glass, just pure mm -hmm. power, no damn, no defense. One of the randomized equip stats run I had, uh, literally the weapon, armor, and accessory, all of which had randomized stats, gave a grand total of uh, plus zero defense to Mario. <laughs> It was a big plus zero for my boy Mario, but he did have like a plus 400 attack. So uh, don't get hit, idiot. <laughs> just, just perfect block everything. Yeah, uh, yeah, Jigen's right. Weirdly enough, randomized stats, if anything, like really makes magic better because magic power up is so rare in base Mario RPG, but... Uh, if you can get like plus 50 or 60 to your magic attack, yeah, you'll be able to do Thunderbolt and it deals 200 to everybody, so you gotta go for it once in a while. That boss I just killed has always been one of the terrifying bosses, but uh, boy, he sure is free now. <laughs> He's just loaded with treasure. It seems like you've got him pretty down. Oh, there they are. Nice. I'll take some of these. Oh, too. nice full tonics too. Yeah, those are um, these are magic and defense for the rest of the fight. 30 percent off of uh both. I'll take those. Oh, are there no spells to do that? There are, but um, they're not in your party. My wizard has the barrier for magic, but I don't have the shield. Hmm. And this way, anyone can cast it. Yeah, I think that's about it for what gives, yeah, magic attack. It's basically just, yeah, work pants, jump shoes, super suit and attack scarf, and that's really about it. They don't give it to you a lot. There it is. I can go in. Let's do it. Hey! So what does that give you normally in vanilla? Is that just like a thing for Robo? It's a really dramatic long scene and eventually it gives you his gear, yeah. Oh heck, I can't get to the end times. I gotta figure out how to do that still. Oh yeah, right, amulet as well, because amulet gives something to all stats. Uh, Troopa Pin gives, uh, attack and magic attack up. It's just the offensive half of Geno Boost plus, like, 30 speed? 20 speed? Something like that? It's a speed boon bonus plus the front half of Geno Boost, whereas Ghost Metal is the back half of Geno Boost. I think I need another item still. The Green Dream. Is that... 
It's a free rear's vibe accessory. Is that only for Robo? I think we can wear it. And it's uh Okay. Once per battle you can just resurrect. Which is it's not as good as it sounds. I, I, I don't know, there's there's really good accessories that you give up for that kind there of stuff. There are some there are some RPGs where effects like that are very good. Like if you ever do decide to play Yakuza 7, uh, the new RPG one, that game has the mechanic of if your lead character dies, that's it. And uh, it turns out, yeah, just having him able to survive with one HP is huge later on in the game where a whole lot of people like to instant kill party members. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how do you beat the prism specs, right? Yeah, you don't. If the, yeah, a plus 50% attack to all offense in any RPG. I don't care what RPG it is. That's probably going to be a tier zero item. <laughs> like, I don't see how it couldn't be. And some other nice ones are status immunity. And um, there's one that reduces your mana cost by 75% which just means that you don't need magic items at all, which gives you turn economy, because you don't have to spend them on potions. At all, like you won't run out of mana for the whole fight with that on, so that's nice. And then there's uh, there's really high defense ones. There's ones that give you a ton of evasion and speed. There's one that gives you like 50% HP, which is almost assuredly just gonna max you out. So if you're low level, that's it's gonna be a ton. That'll be huge, yeah, if you're like, if you're at like 6,000 HP, that's going to be a tremendous boon. Yeah, giving up your accessory slot for uh, for anything like that. It's <laughs> just one res. I mean, Chrono has res, and if he casts it, he doesn't just res. He reses with a, almost a full heal. So, you know, giving up your accessory slot for that feels bad. Oh, the green dream glitch only works if you're solo. Okay. So it's something where you go in solo, let yourself die, and then it revives you and the cursor memory gets screwy or something. Interesting. I have a couple of Yakuza games actually, I haven't played them yet. I have Yakuza Kiwami over here on PS4. Kiwami's all right, Kiwami's all right. Um, Kiwami 1 and 2 are all right. Um, I think Zero is incredible. I think Zero is a phenomenal game. Uh, I recommend anyone play Zero, frankly. Uh, seven's really good. It is a really, really incredible first attempt for them at making an RPG. Like, they did a fantastic job. I think it's just a great game. Uh, it has some pretty big flaws, but most of them can be traced back to they didn't make it an RPG until, like, six months before the game came out, which is unbelievable. Um... But yeah, it's really good. It's got a really good story. It runs a little long, but I mean, that's literally every Yakuza game, as I'm sure you'll find out as you play through them. They all have some moments where you're like, okay, guys, we're repeating. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's keep moving. <laughs> but uh, they're good. I like Zero. Yeah, I think Zero is probably the best one to start with. Assuming, I mean, the problem with starting with Zero is that then the other games you play after it don't feel as good as Zero. <laughs> yeah, Kiwami's a remaster of one. Uh, which is the, the big problem is like the thing that's wild about Kawabi one is almost all of the problems are traceable to, it is a remake of one and thus has a lot of the same flaws, especially like the writing and stuff that the first game did. They've gotten better at it over the years, you know, like if anything, that should be a good thing. The fact that the remake of one, you're like, ah, the writing in this is kind of eh compared to the newer ones. Uh, like, yeah, eh, worse, not the worst problem to have. Uh, Kwame 2 is really good. I, I think Kwame 2, they definitely uh, did a way better job than 1. Uh, Kwame 1, I was really struggling to keep my attention. 2, they did a really solid job. Uh, Zero is just a ton of fun. And, uh, yeah. I, I would definitely just say Yakuza 0 is a great one. Kwame 1 and 2 are fine. You'll have a good time with them. 6, I think I would have liked if I hadn't played Zero first. And 7, its own thing. 7 is its own thing entirely. and It's a lot of fun. I mean, you liked uh, Sleeping Dogs a shitload, right? Yeah, that game was great. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of Yakuza. They're real fun lost. games. Oh, and Sleeping Dogs? Yeah, because I couldn't figure out how to drive on the wrong side of the road. The opposite mm. side of the road. 
I was always going the wrong don't way. Don't worry. You don't have to drive in Yakuza. Yakuza is a <laughs> game about walking and occasionally getting into a taxi so you have to walk less. <laughs> One day I'll dodge this enemy. Yeah, how hard is avoiding encounters in this? Because obviously that's really key to moving quickly in Super Mario RPG randomizer, but also it's very easy to avoid that stuff. I know a lot of the fights in Chrono Trigger are scripted, but how many of them can you like realistically just get around? I feel like you can dodge most of them and I, I think one of the the dev gave me a bunch of pieces of advice and one of them was please learn how to dodge the damn battles <laughs> basically like I'm bad at it I don't know where to stand I always grind in these games so I don't ever care to but I'm not supposed to be fighting all these things you can definitely evade most of them sounds like someone has a very good excuse to oh watch a speed run of Chrono Trigger <laughs> Because they, they do this in two hours and, and some change, so they were like an hour faster than me, so I wanted to see why. And step one was, instead of directly going after the third character, they went to a store first and bought a nice sword. <laughs> like, instead of spending six minutes in the first fight. They spent six seconds in the first fight. I think that you can't dodge as much as you can in Mario RPG, but you can dodge most of it. Yeah. Mario RPG, you can uh, evade enemies so efficiently that it becomes a capital P problem. <laughs> I have actually had to like start deciding where I want to avoid encounters and where I don't want to. Because the thing is, you can almost always like win an encounter if you're underleveled for it, right? And like you can pull it off. But the way the experience curve works in that game, a lot of times if you don't do fights like kind of passively as you're going through the game, the extra cost of how much longer fights get does not it, like it doesn't make up for the experience drop off. So like you just get yourself in a real bad situation where every fight takes two and a half minutes and you're still getting about the same experience you would if you would have just, you know, done the fights earlier when it was just Goombas, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. This game's magic is so strong and it's all AoE that you can just find a group of enemies and wipe them out. So I think that's what I should be doing. I shouldn't be fighting stragglers at all. I should only fight groups of enemies. Mario now, RPG if you want to really see... have that. Yeah. If you want to do a run of Mario RPG that lets you really go wild and really go fast, I now know what the dream run is for me. Um, it's less about getting gear and more about getting the star egg really early on and also getting a bunch of enemy formations of like eight dudes at once so that I just do the star egg once. It kills everybody. I get three levels. I do that four times and then I'm ready to take on Smithy because I'm level 12 and I'm a lunatic and that's good enough for me. <laughs> you know, like that's that's the dream. I had the star egg. It was fun to have because that's a that's a pain in the ass to get. Normally, yeah, it's a nightmare normally. That's another fun thing is you get access to some items like the super suit attack scarf. Uh, yeah, that, the the star egg that are just such a pain in the ass to get. Oh, uh, did anyone see what key item I got? I wasn't even paying attention. Shit. What did they give me? <laughs> Chad, what did we get? Yeah, what did, what did I get from the shell? That's why I did this. I don't think it was anything good or I'd remember. I'm just gonna clip the stream and look at the clip. Look at the clip. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was down in the basement when I talked to the shell. I don't remember what the hell it was. Wait, but when you talk to the shell? Yeah, normally you get the prism shard, which I already had. Normally you get the evidence that your father's innocent. Oh, was it Robo's ribbon? That sucks. That's why I don't remember it. That's too bad. That doesn't help at all. I think I know where I have to go.
Yo, Final Fantasy VI. I was actually talking to uh, Tina Hacks earlier tonight, and she she just straight up pulled up her capture card and was like, "Yo, Ty, you know how you love how messed up FF6 runs have gotten over the years." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." She's like, "You don't even know," <laughs> and uh, so it's some unbelievably weird shit. So I can't even remember the name of the town. So there's one town where in the basement of one of the buildings, there's a set of three doors that kind of oscillate like which ones are doors and which one are open. Do you know what I'm talking about at all? It's like in the basement of a place with a bunch of art upstairs. I can't um, remember where it is. Opera house place? I think I know. I just, I've, I've yeah. only played that twice. Owser's ma uh, is it Jador? Owser's house? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tina pulled it off and it's unbelievable, but it's some wild thing where you manipulate the game in such a way that that like pattern, that timer that's oscillating the doors is now like permanently loaded in the memory in some way. And so then she has to do frame perfect walking outside, which is doable through pause buffering more or less. And if she manages to maintain that state outside, it just breaks the game in a way that's like really severe. She literally flew to somewhere and was like, okay, yeah, check this out walks into a building, walks to the left, uh, walks past a wall and just keeps going and then explains very calmly to me in a what appears to be just a void filled with random objects. <clears throat> this is the game's RAM. <laughs> like she just she's like, this is the game's RAM. Uh, I'm walking around in it right now. Uh, this trick is really dangerous on real physical hardware because you can uh, permanently corrupt your save stuff. So you would actually have to desolder and resolder the battery if you touch the wrong thing when you do this. Luckily, I'm running off SD to SNES, so I don't have to worry about that. It's like, ah, very good, very good. And yeah, she was just like walking in the void and she was just like, oops, got stuck and I'm soft locked here. So yeah, anyway, that's Final Fantasy VI's RAM. Very cool. <laughs> so the run is even wilder now, which is unbelievable. Uh, any percent no sketch has been getting faster and faster and tina at least thinks that uh if someone gets a really good clean run with the new strategies and the new routing it'll actually end up being faster than sketch finally which is wild because the sketch glitch is super busted if you know about ff6 like sketch is they just like let you get access to the memory as a prank with sketch for <laughs> yeah. some reason <laughs> i was always under the impression that that was a dangerous skill to use because that would ruin your hardware somehow or some way to sketch wrong you shouldn't be sketching this way <laughs> that's an incorrect sketch and then your save is gone <laughs> basically oh jeez, whoa they pulled a prank on me and gave me the best helmet in the game I'll take it. Ooh, Gloomhelm or Rainbow? Prism. Oh, Prism. Is Gloomhelm the best one you can get for Magus, or will he wear the Prism one too? Gloomhelm is better than Prism, but only he can wear it, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, I swore Gloomhelm was better, but that makes sense. It's a status immunity helmet. Uh, there are helmets to give you haste and stuff that I'd, I think I'd take instead, since I'm not worried about status immunity anymore, but that's definitely top tier stuff. Now we're set. I have to steal. If he's alive. We're at, we're FF four and five is broken. Uh, kind of in different ways. Um, they. It's weird. I would say six is the one that has the most. It really feels like they were pushing the hardware to its absolute limits. Like they were really doing some wild stuff to keep FF six running and moving. Um, FF four has some pretty wildly broken stuff. Uh, five, I would say it's less broken and more just like they let you get into the systems as deep or as little as you want. Like FF5 just lets you get in there and do what you please. Um, it, sometimes stuff works in weird ways, but never in quite the same way that like, like the bugs and stuff don't feel as fantastic and wild as they are in FF6. But I mean, FF6 even has stuff that like, even in a normal vanilla playthrough, you're going to be affected by if you don't, even if you don't know, like the fact that magic defense is the only defense that matters, like that kind of, or magic evade, magic evade, right? Yep. It's magic. Okay. 
Okay, can I have my key item now? Is this it? Do you have it? Fuck. Oh, wait. Now that's the best helmet in the game. I don't know why he gave it to me, but I'll take that. Also. <laughs> so everybody's just helmeted up. Yeah. I'm, I'm pressed for choice now here. <laughs> Damn. I'm looking for the gate key so I can open the damn portals and go home and finish the but I don't know where to go to do. I don't know what's next. I'm out of ideas. Must be something somewhere I'm missing. I don't think that there's anything in here. I can't do Magus's castle without Frog. I don't think. I might be wrong. Am I allowed to do that? No, I'm not. I don't have him. It's actually not an option. Uh, that's good, because I don't want to do that. That's probably the worst place in this to do. But, um... Frog is in 65 million BC, so... He's where I need to be to win, so I definitely don't have to do that. Oh god, you just still don't have Frog at all, do you? Nope. Don't show up. Huh. But that's okay. <laughs> no, the good heal boy. He's not bad. Where's the end? I want to lend this guy a tools. Frog seems like he'd be pretty solid in this too. Honestly, like, he has access to some pretty good, like, damage, some pretty good dual techs, a couple really good triple techs, and some solid healing. Like, he seems like he'd be pretty good. Yeah, I think he's a good healer. He's a good support. The problem with the ma the obvious healer is the princess, and she, uh, her problem is that she's, uh, too healer focused like healing tapers off once you hit the cap on HP at 900 you don't need somebody who heals mm -hmm. for 3000 anymore that's pointless so that is her best spell is that <laughs> that's just she doesn't have anything big like everyone else does and she also doesn't have a heal everybody spell for some reason oh she doesn't have AOE oof no she just has haste which is really good and resurrection which you have items for so I, I think she's probably the worst character in the game. You could still win with whoever you want, though. Easily enough. Haste means that you, you get twice as many turns straight up, so I mean, that almost makes up for her. That's probably her best skill. That's why Helmet giving me haste right now is super good. That's why that's the best Helmet. I just, I just get 30 speed instead of 16. Yeah, seems good. You're not supposed to be moving this fast. Does this game ever, like, does this game have any prevention from you taking double turns if you're, like, that much faster than the enemy? Um, it sort of does. Wow, that's one hell of a grudge. What the fuck? The hoofa doofa! Hey, stop grudging! Oh, uh oh! Uh, whoopsie daisy! I've been grudged. Can't believe you got hit by a grudge. How much does eight megabytes cost these days? Uh, go to uh, any career fair and just talk to a tech company for more than two minutes and they'll hand you a thumb drive that's got three of that. <laughs> like, God, the number of like 24 to 50 megabyte USB dongles I have from just a thousand different tech companies. It's time to make keychains out of RAM. Mm hmm. Get the smallest piece of RAM you can and put it on. But yeah, such a small amount that, uh, it, yeah, eight, eight megabytes, like, you wouldn't even produce that little of an amount of memory anymore. It would be cost inefficient, probably, to just not make it 32 at least. I don't know if there's a key item in here. I don't think there is. I'm trying to think of where I'm supposed to go. See, I'm wasting my time because I'm not familiar enough with this yet still. There's nowhere left. Oh, I know where I need to go. I, I skipped the boss that I was hoping I didn't have to do, but it should be easy. I'm oh, getting out of here. wow. Sorry, Marl's best single character attack is Ice too. God, I didn't even think it was that bad. I thought she had something better than that. Dang. Yeah, her best spell is AoE Ice, and Frog has the same thing. Frog's best skill isn't very good either, unfortunately. 
So both of the water casters are like that. But his is, uh, the lower his HP, the more damage he does, which... Sometimes you can do something with that. If he just took a big old hit, you can, you can risk his life to do something. It still won't be as good as the other casters do, but, uh, at least there's something there. Marl has a lot of good dual techs, so. though. A lot of good stuff in there. So that kind of makes up for it. There's so many tech combos. You can make any team work if you do it right. I can't believe I skipped this boss. This this is guaranteed to be progress. It's gotta be. <laughs> Ayla and Marl have a uh, move called Cube Toss that blasts everybody for probably thousands of damage. And when you're doing something like that, um, that's actually worth doing. And she does have the res that guarantees a full heal. That's her master skill. It's just, uh, that's just not very good later. Like, the longer the game goes on, the worse she gets. Here's boss number two. <laughs> Ice Sword's alright. I mean, it's not... It's not that. Ice Sword's a really early one. That's like your first one, almost. Just stuff that involves Chrono and Moral Nuclear, the first moves you get. This randomizer decides on like an item, and that and that's the item that you get every time, over and over again. Every run has some item that that gets set as the most common thing, and it's used 15 of them. Yeah, Frog's really strong. Just does regular damage. He's got a lot of crit rate. Mm. She doesn't have that. She doesn't have that at all. Like that's not a thing she does. Well, I just looked at the clock and realized it is almost 1 a.m. Well, it is 1 a.m. here. It is. So, uh, I'm gonna dip. I gotta work out in the morning, but, uh, good luck with the rest of the run. Uh, hope you, uh, pull a clean sub three. Looks good to me. I think I'm gonna. See you later. Nice. Take it easy. Soiled sheet of paper. Oh, that rat. So if I go back here and turn on the machine and then come back, it'll give me the gate key, right? Is it gate key time? Gate key? It's gotta be gate key. The gate key is being real stubborn. It's causing me a, a burden here. I should have been there a long time ago. We are extremely ready for the boss fight, so. I'd say this is a pretty unlucky journey based on how long it's taking to get that. And I'm still moving real fast. It would be nice if he'd learn Luminaire. He's working on it. He doesn't have any magic at all to support. So we're just two physical, one magic here. Prism dress. That's nice. This is worth coming in for that.
probably gonna put the sunshades on the wizard for the boss fight when it comes up. And feed him mana, because he's gonna be doing all the work. I'll probably give him the haste helm too, which feels dumb, because I'm gonna be wasting his gloom helm. I don't think I have a choice. Oh, the speed belt's bad. We don't want the speed belt. Prism dress is unquestionably the best uh, armor for her, though. Gate key, please. Please. Once I get the gate key, I can go to the... Um, 65 million up to Tyranno Lair through the Undersea Palace into Lavos. There we go. Now we are on our route. We are in go mode. Finally. Definitely have everything now. It's just not that speedy a belt. Need a faster belt. how you get there. We gotta run through Tyranno Lair real quick. I've been caught. Dark Bomb, fast as spell. Where were the FMV cutscenes for Link the Past come from? Who made them? What are they? Cutscenes of what? These guys um did not die to that. I don't know why. What about Dark Bomb. I don't think they're lightning specifically. I think they're weak to magic in general. So what we need to get here is the Dream Stone, the Ruby Knife, and the um, Gate Key. Gate Key gets us to this dungeon. Dream Stone goes in the slot right there. And uh, the Ruby Knife lets us into the Undersea Palace. And once I have all three of those things, I can go this way. Which I think is the fastest way forward. This is the right way. 
I think. Evasion. I'm not sure if you can dodge these fights. I think it'll kill the two minions. They're up tights, but not the volcanoes. Maybe they're vulnerable. Now yeah, they're immune. That's what I thought. Pretty obnoxious things. I suppose these lightning here on that guy specifically, but also the other fellas are weak to it. If you don't bring lightning, this thing here is damn near unkillable. That's why I'm running, because it's just a waste of time. Okay, they flipped this. That's why I always mix it up. They flip it later. Winter storm warning. This again. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be fighting these things so much. Ice. The real weakness. So those things are immune to shadow. Absorb lightning. And ice too will destroy them. Kind of curious about fire, but I bet fire won't work. Let's go ahead and do this, because he's doing all the work. I don't know what to use. To make him unkillable? That's good, I guess. That's not a bad idea. 300 HP, how can you go wrong? she got on. Garbage. I'm gonna make them all, um... There we go. I like that better. We're getting rid of the Gloom Helm. Gonna give my wizard haste, and he's gonna do all the work.
Full bite, I remember doing damage here, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's in his belt one. Yep. Okay. Sucks. Should've gone for triple kick. I'm not sure if defense goes to zero or if it just reduces and continues to reduce more and more every time you hit them with lightning. I think it goes to zero based on that the number stays around the same. I'm not sure though. Maybe it's the, um, the left one. I'm never going to remember these damn things. Okay, it's the one in the front. Oh, I can't access the save even if I wanted to. When you run, does it activate the next one? Yeah. Third one, though. Let's jump. with lightning and then bite a dude. I don't know why that didn't work. Bolt bite is better than I'm making it look, I swear. I guess the physical part of it blocked everything. Christopher Robin has so much HP here. for that defense to go off.
yeah, for the dual techs to pay off, they really have to do a lot. The ones that turn single tech into AoE are really good at a point. Like, the first one you get is guaranteed to be Fire Whirl, and that is super good. <laughs> it's a very nice one when you're doing it. But they, uh, they taper off when you start getting AoE Blast. I guess we should heal since this thing's not gonna die that fast. Yeah, you have mismatched speed, so you have to wait for the slow character. You have to spend their mana at the same time. They don't always do the math. Like, it's not... I, I would say it seldom works out to where it does more than individually they would have done. End game. Most of them aren't that way. Our, our damage is really just not there on this guy. What is he doing? What's this? That is not the spell. The fact that I'm doing this badly on him makes me feel like I'm in trouble in all of this. Level are we? There's Rainbow. Good find. I think they just replaced the attack with something faster, maybe. Yo, take man, thanks for sub. Skipping the new fight, let's just go forward here. Please time travel to earlier in the night and save my sleep schedule. For you, friend. I should probably step on the healer at some point. <laughs> yeah. 
a little bit messed up. Missing 700 HP. Oh yeah, we can win with this. Level 30. We can make it happen. Okay, we need to do the Undersea Palace quickly. That won't take too long. I did work, finally. Tigger risks casting a spell. Undersea Palace. At last. It's been a long time coming. Queen returns. Let's try and hang left this time. Maybe it will work better. I want the loot, damn it. Can't resist it. Can definitely sneak past these guys, but not even want the treasure, I don't think. Yeah, having the Wii on HDMI is nice. I have trouble running the other. I think the left path is worse than the right, based on that. A Vargas combo. Okay, I'm not going left anymore <laughs> in this place. It's smelly. In here. Just hang right, don't fight anything, and be down here in, in no time. One fourth of the way done.
Oops. Ran right into him like a joker. Our damage is so bad, I don't know why. Didn't do it. That was the easy one I got, we got by. The fire scared me. My man needs to stick to the dark wave, do real damage with it. told that the magic tabs don't raise your magic damage very much. I don't have any use for them really then. I don't need healing. Heck. Oh no. Fucking hit save us, please. Don't sleep. No. Beautiful.
Okay, Falcon hit. Save us. Man, that's slick. <laughs> that's so much better than what I usually do. Falcon hit is just pure damage, physical, on a line. And apparently, on a line means the whole screen. A line as big as the screen. So this gimmick of having to use water, lightning, and fire is just erased. Hey Ty, thanks for sub. there. Another five minutes and I should be in love with this face. This should have been a good seed. And I skipped the boss that was easy and took forever to get the item I needed because of it. I just never went back to the boss. I was so excited to get to the end of time and turn my magic on. But I ran right past him. Alright. Elm Twins. Not this randomizer. Doesn't have that. Oh, then having shadow is bad news. Yeah, we're wiped. Better not. These guys are way stronger than the other one was. Better not give them shadow at all. Stick with fire. <laughs> They're upgraded quite a bit from the other golem that I just fought. Alternatively, I could equip Shadow Defense, but I ain't doing that. I'm gonna make sure they have bad elements. These guys copy your spell. I think if I hit them with fire, I'll be okay, but we'll see if they upgraded that too. All right, let's do it. Yeah, they do single target fire, which isn't painful enough to care about. There's the OE Fire Blast. That hurts. I gotta keep my health topped off because I can't handle that kind of damage.
Saving my good heals for the lava fight. Hopefully I won't need them. That was rough. Luminaire, right in time. <laughs> Jeez. Nice work, Tigger. With the big spell, right on time. This lava's fight's not gonna be a joke. Here's a sword for you. Can I beat Lavos in 15 minutes? Probably. Unless he kills me. Which, uh... Maybe I'm too weak to fight him. I don't know. I seem like I'm having a hard time. Of course, now we got the good stuff. Going all out. Two of my characters are immune to status. Lavos actually has a spell that removes status immunity from the gear, but even so, I have a backup guy in case it goes wrong, which is really nice. There's no way he's going to win when he only does 100 with that. That's that's the big attack right there. That's it. So, yeah. It's going down. At least this part is. Triangles. It's a chaos attack. Chaos orb. I think it did change the stats, but also my arm is really good. Combination of the two, I think. It changed his, uh, his shell outside to have less HP, I know that. I'm not sure if he has better defense or armor or attack or whatever, but... He definitely has more HP, and they've reduced that to normal, I think. It's dead. They turned him into regular lavas. I have exactly enough tents to survive here. Actually, let me see something. I'm curious about something. Can we now ride the Epoch into Lavas? Get a different ending? Get the good cutscene?
Is this how you unlock that? Let's find out. Nice. Slam. Oh yeah. Vicious and stupid play. Yo, this cutscene rules though. <laughs> this is the best one. Actually, the best one is the game over ending where the world blows up. Second best one though. Jackass Rams Craft into the shell. <laughs> well, well, we're here now. We uh, we don't have a save point. Better make sure we make a count here. Let me double check real quick. Ooh, that's straight better. Bobos does use fire. I don't know why I had the Eon armor. I must have just got the Ruby armor recently. That's some top tier stuff. bad. Well, wow, Dark Matter is really pushing the damage up. Yeah, hit the guy with the million HP, that's fine. Defense is down. I think it is. Yeah. There's no shield on this boss. He just has no defense once his arms are gone. Poison. I'll take it. Tops. Okay, so phase three. I'll go over this every time until everyone on the earth knows how to fight Lavos. Phase three. Lavos tries to fool you by taking uh, a miniature pod instead of the big one. He's on the right. The other two are fake. That being said, they do a lot of stuff. 
and the real one is shielded. So we have to kill the middle one if we want him to stop doing big bombs, and the left one if we want to stop healing. But if we kill the middle one first, he'll start counterattacking real hard. So we want to kill the left one. It has high magic defense absorbed, no defense. So physical on the left first. Probably kill it in one turn. Then the middle, which we can just blast because he won't counterattack if the left bot's dead. So physical on the left first, followed by... Okay, we'll do confuse and triple kick just to make sure that it's done. There's no way this thing's gonna live through that unless they change the stats. Man, that's a lot of damage. Now we blast them. I'm gonna start casting uh, barrier and shield on everybody. While he drops those big bombs. Now that thing shut off its defense, because that's what it has to do to start a resurrection timer. So while we kill the center one, we'll start doing real damage to Lavos. Where's that elixir? Here you go, friend. Yeah, this Lava's fight is confusing, but it's not that complicated when you know what's going on. I was talking about that earlier. Just three rules. You just need to know which one of the pods do what. This one's the resurrection pod, and the fight's over once it's dead. So it's the main pod. And it has your standard defense on and off switch, and if defense is on, you're not doing anything to it. So to shut its defense off, you kill the other two pods. Either one. That's the main goal. And it's res them, so now we uh, we prepare for that. It disabled my status immunity just there. That sucks. Took too long to kill it. Should be dead now. I'm pretty sure this thing's defense isn't on yet. Like it hasn't had time to turn it back on. Yeah. We could have been blasting it this whole time and maybe finishing it off all of us before. That happened. He just turned it back on. He'll turn it back off in a second, though. Because his friend's dead. Middle pot actually doesn't have any defense at all compared to the other two. So you end up killing it first and then causing a problem for yourself, normally. I think this fight's over.
BB. Sonic era. <laughs> Great. Uh, so we're going to get the other ending. The stupider ending. Because we destroyed our time machine like an absolute moron for no reason. What have you done, Christopher Robin? Robin's deeds have impacted everybody. This is not just a mean prank, it's also a wildly bad idea. The portals are absolutely on their last legs, they're dissolving. Uh, every second that goes by is another second of portals not being there, and she brought everybody here, including the old ancestors from 65 million BC. He's right over there. He's Everyone depends on him, and he's, he's here hanging out. They just brought him here. What a catastrophe. So yeah, I'm going to be looking into, uh, this week we're doing Skull Monkeys, the speed bump game, I want to beat it myself, get it done. I'm also looking into 60 FPS Zelda, <laughs> that sounds good, and uh, Star Trek on the 360 in Robin Hood, also uh, maybe, no that's PS2, those are the two games that the subs voted for. Bulletstorm taking a bare third. Those two games that I just named, pretty bad actually, turns out. Star Trek on the 360, it's 40 years too late. Robin Hood looks like a bad FPS.
Nobody even says anything to old man. I have no idea. It's just the Star Trek game with the bad score. <laughs> it's on the 360. It's just called Star Trek. I've not actually seen very much Star Trek in general. If I wanted to watch Spock, I watched Mission Impossible. she goes just like that movie where the balloons carried off the, the house Star Trek I was gonna mention it uh, while while Ty was talking about the glitches in FF6, the LAX, the Link Awakening game, also has a speedrun like that. I've been watching TGS do it. He goes into he hacks in <laughs> like he goes into the Matrix and he's in another world, traveling through it. That's going on right now, so I'm gonna raid over to that. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We don't get any stats or anything for this, so there's not really anything to look at here. Other than mode seven ending, there they go. They can't possibly survive this. Well, they probably can. They're wizards. Well, go check it out. I'm sure TGH will be on for a while, probably. Very late nights all the time. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow if you're interested in skull monkeys. I think that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Have a good one. Yeah.